The film is called Home Again, and it was taken from a stage play called Home Again Jiggity Jig that was actually the first thing I ever wrote. It was a monologue that I stretched into a 10 minute piece to a full length play. And when I was working as a casting director in the same office as Ryan, he found me in the hall and he said, hey, Jana, we want to do something. And can you give us some of your writing? We were looking for something that we could do really well on a budget. And for that, it meant having one location, right? And she goes, Janet sent me a few of them and we read these through. And uh, this is the one that initially stuck with me because I thought, the house itself was going to be one of the biggest characters. Exactly. Because it's all about him selling the house or our characters. What really connected him was the house and we said, well, it's great, let's uh, do this one. Here's our only problem. We need to find a house yeah. that could be dated to the 1940s. Yeah. As luck would have it, I had moved to Pontiac and my next door neighbors owned a bed and breakfast and the house that we used was their bed and breakfast and they let us use it for free and so four days of disrupting their life it was just phenomenal that they would allow us to do it it's called the murphy house in pontiac michigan and just the color the striking like turquoise and we shot in the fall which i thought really added a nice element to it and as luck would have it also they owned an art gallery across the street so we could have the actors go there we could eat and set up tables uh, across the street and not have to actually move location and i think a lot of that goes back to and I guess it's a message for all filmmakers, and I'm sure most of them would agree with me and Janet's experience, is that there's always going to be obstacles or barriers or stuff that you're looking at that potentially, you're like, well, we can't do this, but I know what's true, mm -hmm. and what's true of anybody who succeeds in anything, you just have to sit out there and do it, and somehow magically, it falls in a way, the, the pieces fall together. And for us, not just location, but so many other aspects of it, just fell in the place and we were able to uh, produce this film that, just, that we're we so got the of. actors that we got and mm -hmm. that they weren't already booked on something else. And I think the whole budget was maybe five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Which most all of it went to feeding the cast and crew. <laughs> and so that we were able to find like you all end up in film when you don't have a unlimited budget. You have to put out a bunch of hats. So as far as I did the casting, I found the props. Uh, I did some of the wardrobe, um, and I'm sure Ryan did a lot of other stuff too, like finding the cars for the shots and all of yeah, that. Yeah, stuff, so. stuff ended up falling into place for us, and we were just blessed and happy that that's how this whole thing ended up. Yeah. So we're glad to be here. Thanks yeah, for having us thank out. Thank you so much. Uh, to see it on the big screen. It never gets old. Oh my so gosh. It, that's it why just, we did it, and that's what makes it all worth it, that we could share this day some two years, three yeah. years later. Thank you.